<laughs> well, Amanda, will you be doing that at the 4-H Center? Probably not. You might not. want to give that a try. <laughs> Amanda Rexing is the chair for the craft show presented by the Vanderburg County Extension Homemakers. Big show coming up? Yes, yes it is. It's one of the largest craft shows here in southern Indiana, so it's pretty exciting. Um, it's just neat to see everything that all these people create and do and that I cannot do personally. So. I know, don't you look at, you walk through there and go, how do they think of that? Yes, or the time too. I'm going, I don't have time to do that. So <laughs> it's uh, pretty nice. So come out, get, start Christmas shopping, you know, it's when I start Christmas shopping, getting gifts for people. Sure. So, or there's all sorts of unique things like wedding gifts I get um, out there too. So how many vendors do you have this year? Oh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Um, I pretty much all of our buildings are full. So uh, we have three inside buildings, four, I think, and then um, all along the walkway as well. So there's lots and lots of vendors. Is there a fee to get in? Um, yes, it's $2 per person uh, to get in, and then kids 10 and under are free. So it's pretty cheap. Um, all the proceeds that we get from this craft show, um, they go to scholarships that we fund as well, and then um, other nonprofits. So Extension Homemakers, they... Um, are supporters of Ronald McDonald House and Riley's Children's Hospital. Um, and then something unique that Vanderbilt County is piloting is our I Can programs. Um, so these are programs that we do throughout the county uh, to help groups or individuals learn skills like cooking, sewing, and finances. All important things yes. for you know, yep. create being a homemaker yes. and a family. Yes. Right. Yeah, which are the foundation of our program. So well, let's talk about this. How long has your group been in existence? Um, our club started, ooh, um, I guess, close to five years ago. Um, um, we're kind of made up of past 4-Hers. A lot of us were 10-year 4-H members and wanted to continue uh, meeting, and it's lots of fun. Our group is constantly growing with lots of little ones um, to boot, too. So. Uh, clubs range all over, though. We've had clubs that have been together for many, many years, um, good 15 years or so. Uh, so we're a thriving organization, and we're just continuing to grow. Oh, I'm, that's exciting for all of you and yes. for our young families. Yes. Where is everything going to happen, and when does it start? Uh, so the Fine Arts and Craft Show is at the Vanderburg County 4-H Center. Um, it starts September 23rd and 22nd. Gates open at 9 a.m. and go till 4 p.m. So, so it's just one, it's two days. Two days, okay. Saturday and Sunday, um, 22nd and 23rd. So if you miss one day, come to the next. Or if you can't get it all in in one day, come both days. So. And those are always such popular events anyway. Yes. Well, and people ask, will there be food? Of course there'll be food. <laughs> um, we do have food boots throughout the fairgrounds, but something special that we do is we have homemade chili made by our extension homemakers and some of their husbands. So um, you can get it there or you can buy it by the gallon. So... Oh, Come get a, your chili. Do you need to bring your own little gallon no, jug? Oh, you're, no, you're going to supply we'll that. Have Look that at you, gallon homemakers jug. Go. Yep, yep. So you can have your chili for fall, freeze it, you know, use it when out throughout the winter. That sounds like so much yes. fun, a great opportunity. If our viewers would like to know more about your organization or perhaps to join it, how do they best get in touch with you? Um, you can definitely look us up on Facebook, Vanderburg County Extension Homemakers, or you can contact our local Extension Homemaker office as well. Okay, well, thank you, Amanda. Big thank deal. You. Coming up uh, the 22nd, 23rd yes. of September. Yep. So you've got a little time to get it on your calendar. <laughs> yes, yes. Thanks so much. Great <laughs> thank to see you. you. And when we come back, and we will be back after this, with an art exhibit coming to Bluegrass, and there's Greg Graham. He's going to tell us all about it.